Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I've got another quick unboxing and disassembly for you guys and you gals and my patrons and my channel members and all of you wonderful people that comment in the comment section and always give me the thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Freaking thank you. You guys are making this thing awesome. So let's get in here and see what this is all about. So I'm going to use the Buck Highline. And if you want to see more about this one and see the disassembly and a little surprise we found inside, you can go back a couple videos and check that out. So let's make sure I'm not going to get into anything. Ooh, man, it's sharp. So sharp. So very sharp. But thank you guys and gals. I'm having so much fun and the channel is going places. And I have so much planned and so much in store. Ooh, that's kind of fancy looking. So this is a CH knife, which is made by the same company as Effengrow or Effengrow. It's the Effengrow, uh, which one is this? The CH3531. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> CH3531-G10F, Survival Hiking. All right, so let's get in here and take a look at this one. And man, oh, man, I, I have, I've already seen the pictures. But I want to see it in person. Are you ready? Come on. Oh my goodness. Holy freaking cow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy moly. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Wow. My goodness. Okay, so there's this side. Here's this side. Holy freaking moly. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> that is absolutely a full size cleaver. Oh my gosh. And for how big it is, I thought it would be heavier. Wow. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Give me a second to, to check it. Check it out. Let's uh, go all the way down the line and let you look at it here. Wow. Holy moly. You can see there's CH. Man, oh man. A little bit of texture vision. I'm still I'm still getting glue off of my finger from where I had had a Band-Aid on there forever. I don't know how in the world I cut myself, but I can tell you what, I kept the Band-Aid handy. <laughs> All right, so this less than 30 bucks, 29 whatever at Amazon. So when it depending on when you're watching this, it's going to be around $29 um, or more or less, depending on what happens to the price. So there's your texture vision while we're at it. Oh, that that is like almost the perfect texture. It's I could go for a little more aggressive, you know, a little more aggressive texture, but it's not bad, not too shabby. And you can see, looks pretty good, pretty good. There's your lanyard hole, and you have this, wow, almost a full back spacer with some jimping on it. Feels like it's going to give us some traction. We'll check out that here in just a second. And big old hole here. You can definitely hang this sucker from a nail if you're out camping or something. And there's our CH3531-G10. And going all the way down the line, pretty attractive. And, okay, what's the pocket clip looking like here? Oh, man, that's a strong pocket clip. Wow, it's a lot stronger than I thought. Is it reversible? No, it is not. So how about that? So that's a pretty good price. Let's go ahead and do the specs real quick. All right, let's get a weight on this sucker, and we'll do the specs in 30 seconds. Plus 30 seconds or less. <laughs> um, I'm going to guess, man, it, it actually feels kind of light. Five and a half, maybe five and three quarters, maybe. It's not very heavy. It is, okay, I stand corrected. Somehow it weighs 7.08 ounces. I, I don't know how. I don't I don't understand that. But I just measured everything, got all your measurements. So let's get in here and are you ready? Are you set? So your total length is 9.31 inches. You have a cleaver style blade, if you haven't noticed. D2 blade steel with a nice stonewash finish. Your total blade length 4.03 inches. Your sharpened blade length 3.39 inches. Your blade width is 1.54 inches. Your blade stock thickness is 158 thousandths. And your thickness behind the edge, well, I was kind of off and on here, but pretty much 23 thousandths behind the edge. Your handle material is G10, and your clothes length from tip to tip is 5.32 inches. Your handle width right here at the largest point is 1.19 inches. Your clothes width is 1.94 inches. Handle thickness, 0.59 inches. This is a flipper, and we'll see what's in the pivot. And it's a liner lock, and this was made in China. All right, you ready? Let's get on to the good stuff. Now, we already took a good look at the finish, which is very nice. Here's an up close of this stonewash. Look at it. Would you look at it? Just look at it. 
That is pretty, pretty nice. I gotta tell you what, let's see how it cuts. And thank you to Smoky Mountain Knife Works for the lovely cutting material. Always appreciate it. All right, what's it gonna do, this big old blade? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. All right, this knife is sweet. <laughs> I love it, love it already. How about the fit? Uh, we'll back out here a little bit for you. I mean, it is solid as a rock. Oh my gosh. It is just, I mean, holy cow, it is a cleaver and a half. Let's see what our lockup is. And let's see, uh, I'd say about 25% on the lockup. It's nice and solid. And going over here, I really like how it has the, uh, the liners on the inside like this, and they are not inset. I don't like inset liners or uh, nestled or nested, however you want to say it. And we'll see what it looks like on the inside here in just a minute. And this pocket clip, I'm going to see what it looks feels like going in and out of my pocket. Oh yeah, I can wear this all day long. I would never ever guess that it weighed seven ounces, not even a chance. So I tell you what, let's do some quick size comparisons and you get a good idea of how big or small this knife is for you. I'll show you what it looks like width wise up two, up against two. Here's the QSP Penguin. So way bigger than the Penguin, but, but how about Petrified Fish Beluga? Ah, oh, how about that? It's about the same width as the beluga. All right, I'm going to lay some out here. And you guys and gals will have, hopefully, at least one or two of these. And if not, I hope you have them all or get them all if you like them. All right, you ready? Are you set? Let's do this. Oh, my gosh. There's the Spyderco Pair 3. And here is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Pivot to pivot. Whoa. I mean, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm going to put a couple smaller ones up here. Here's the Buck Highline, and here is the ever-loved, ever-so-popular, endeared QSP Penguin. So, yeah, it's not a little knife, not by any sense of the imagination. Now, here you go. Here's the popular Petrified Fish Beluga. Now, if you have a Beluga and you thought the Beluga was a big knife, eh -huh. and you know what? I can't wait to try this on food. And I'm, when we check out the Ergos, I am look, just from looking at it, I'm thinking this thing is actually going to be a good chopper. So here's the CJRB Crag and the Petrified Fish Beluga. And I'll put up two more real quick. Here is the Kaiser Quatch. The Quatch. Love this one, too, for cleaver. Speaking of cleaver and kitchen knives, this was done with a chef's knife, believe it or not. <laughs> and here is the Kaiser Roach, one of my favorites. So there you go. There's your size comparisons. So let's check out the ergos and deployment of this bad boy. First, quick housekeeping. If you're not subscribed, you want to subscribe because you do not want to miss what's coming up on Bees Blades. I guarantee. And besides that, Friday nights, Bees Blades live at the hive all oh, right you don't want to miss it every friday night if you don't come to the live streams oh yeah that's nice even with a hurt finger the live streams are awesome you don't even have to say anything just come to the lives we'll talk about that in a minute so let's you know what here's a quick look at the pocket clip we didn't really get up in personal with the pocket clip real quick you know if you know you know that bees blades is all about micarta I'm easily distracted, and that's kind of some of the fun that we have on the live streams. So there's your pocket clip. It's not deep carry, but with this, I don't want it to be deep carry. I want to be able to get it out of my pocket, so I really appreciate this pocket clip. So I'm going to carefully not use the cut side of my finger, and let's see what this thing deploys like a dream. And how about, it's got a drop shut all day, <laughs> all day long. Oh my gosh. How about left-handed? Oh yeah. I mean, it just comes out like whack. Oh my God, listen to the acoustics. Ting, and how about the pass-through? Look at that, nice pass-through, easy to disengage, and it has has this right here, the, uh, what do you call that thing? <laughs> the flipper, hit your thumb, so you're not gonna have to worry about a guillotine, and then uh, it doesn't get any drop shuttier than that. So you could actually fidget with this thing if you want to, easy to deploy like that you could probably just turn this upside down and open it like that and look at here perfect perfect it's chopping it meets i'm going to show you on a box look here it totally totally meets look at that look at that that is going to be excellent for chopping i'm excited i can't wait to use this now how about 
the ergos. My hand from here to here is four inches, from here to here is three and a half, and from here to the end of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. So let's check out the ergos. Look at here. Oh yeah. Look at that. I'm squeezing down hard. Zero hot spots. Zero hot spots. You could use this for some serious chopping. And you saw how this thing is super sharp. Let's look at the grind. Look at that. Has a very nice grind on it. Very even grind. Man, oh man, that is pretty nice. I'm liking it. You could choke up all day long with this thing if you're going to get into something. I mean, you don't just have to use it as a cleaver, but this is actually a cleaver that works like it's supposed to. It meets the surface, so you could chop with it. And I, hopefully I, I make a little clip. Hopefully I have some uh, veggies left upstairs. I can cut something up so you guys can get an idea. And this easy to hang up. I mean, I can see taking this camping. You could use this in your kitchen. It would take up less space in the drawer. I mean, that's a pretty cool knife. I mean, what what do you think? So the Ergos, totally good. Comfortable. How about left-handed? Pocket clip doesn't get in the way whatsoever. Look at that. The pocket clip is just low profile enough that it's no issue. Choking up. Man, you could have a huge hand and this is going to fit your hand. No problem. So I tell you what, let's get in here. Break it down, take it apart, see what's inside, and then I'll tell you my final thoughts. All right, in the interest of time, here is everything I ever use for my knife maintenance. KPL, Knife Pivot Lube, KPL Heavy, KPL Ultra Light, and then you have Loctite Stick. This is Thread Locker. Um, don't get heavy, get medium. There's a link to everything you see right here down in the description of this video that'll take you right to it. There's links, there's affiliate links. I'm an affiliate to KPL Knife Pivot Lube. There's a 10% discount code for that. and. Without telling you all that, just go check out the, the codes and all that stuff. And here, get you a Weeha bit set. This is what I use. This is what I recommend. I got several cheaper kind on Amazon, and I wish I would have started out with this one. And look here. You can use it as a bit driver for your bits that come with it. How about that? Huh? How about that? All right, let's put all this stuff away, and I have the feeling this is going to be, oh, and these little doodads, you'll see me use one of these because I love them. All right, I'm going to use the stubby to break it free. Sometimes it's more difficult, sometimes it's not. Uh, which side are we going to go from? You know what? Let's go from the clip side and see what happens. Let's see. Oh, it's spinning, so that's why you get an extra one. We'll get up here nice, all nice and close and personal and see what we can do here. Let's see. Is it going to break open? All right, so looks like I'm going to be taking it off of the show side. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But it's it's acted like it wanted to let go from this side. So I'm going to hold it. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got it free. It was real easy. I didn't have to give it any, any special attention. And is there any Loctite on there? Uh, it doesn't really look like it. There may be some, but I don't think so. I don't think so. And for the body screws, these are T6s. Too bad they're not T8s. But, oh man, easy to come out. A lot of places still don't use T8s. And, you know, I'd be a broken record if I went on a rant about that. So I'm not going to. And there's no Loctite on here. You can use some. It's probably recommended. And the stick that I showed you earlier, this is what it looks like. I'm not going to use it. For the sake of time and plus i take my knives apart and i check the screws all the freaking time so look at that just that's how easy it is to take this apart so i'm gonna the only thing i didn't show you was i have a piece of this with some alcohol on it on it you can use uh an old piece of t-shirt i just like to use something that doesn't have a bunch of fuzz that i'm gonna leave behind so i'm gonna turn this around look at that simple look at that they have it very very skeletonized for weight and it actually, it's really clean. What is that? A little bit of gunk from the factory. Might be a piece of burn edge there. All right, so it's very clean. Oh, check it out. You know, I can't decide which way I want to put it. <laughs> That's all right. You can see all the parts. Here's the stop pin that came out. I'm going to try to get it from rolling. And look at the multi-row bearings on this dude. Look at that. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Some multi-row bearings happening. And look, this thing is clean. It is pretty clean. Let's get the bearing off of there. Bearings. So all I'm going to do is just wipe it down with the alcohol. Now, before I forget, what I was talking about earlier, see? It's going gonna, it's gonna to work even that much better. Yeah, I like me a guillotine. Guillotine. I always want to say it wrong. But the live streams, if you've never been to the live stream, and you've heard me say this before, so I'm not going to go on forever, but some of you are here for the first time. 
Go to the live stream on Friday nights, 8.15 to 11.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You don't have, you, nobody can see you. Nobody can hear you. Nobody knows you're there. But just watch for a minute and look at how much fun we're having and everyone talking in the lives and just having so much fun. And it's not just sitting there talking about this or that. It's a lot of fun. We talk about all kinds of different things. I do a giveaway every Friday night. So that's one of the perks of being being a subscriber to Bees Blades, you get a notification that there's a live stream. So make sure that you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and hit all. That way you'll get notified that a, a live stream is going on. And just come check it out. See what you think. It is so much fun. And last week, we had a couple people that said, hey, you know, or one or two people, I don't remember. Uh, there's a lot of new people that were in there, but one in particular, he said, you know, I've been here before, but I've never said anything till now. And he found out that we are a very friendly bunch of people, and there's nothing to worry about at all. There is no judgment on the live streams. Nobody judges anybody. If you have a $5 gas station knife, we will not judge you at all. No one gets judged for anything. Okay, there you go. There's the whole thing. So let's put it back together. I mean, that is pretty simple. So I'm going to get my KPL knife pivot lube, and I personally like to use these little swabs that you can clean with. I'm just going to put a little bit right here and a little bit right here. Wow, I did that left-handed. Not too bad. Not too shabby. So I'm just going to spread the love around. Probably put a little too much. It does not take much at all. Just put some all around the pivot. The Pivaruski. But I'm looking forward to tomorrow night. I'm filming this on Thursday night. So if you want to know how fast videos go up, well, this is a Thursday night when I'm filming this. And this will go up in the morning, in the morning. So you can have your coffee with Bee's Blades in the morning. And I've been told that my energy will wake you up. <laughs> so folks are like, did you just have a Red Bull? I'm like, oh, could you imagine if, if I took a, took a Red Bull? It sounds like it's take, taking a medication. It would be, be bouncing off the walls. Now, I'm just, just full of energy, full of life, absolutely loving, loving, loving this hobby, and I had no idea. The biggest, biggest surprise was the knife community that I, that I fell into. All of you lovely men and women in the knife community, these multi-row bearings are sweet. I love bearings. Oh, and something I, something I just did, speaking of bearings, a little, little knife talk for you if you're driving while you're listen, listening not watching, <laughs> right, right, is I got, I ordered some skiff bearings to go in a new knife of mine, and I am excited because I have never put aftermarket bearings in a knife, so here is, let me get back and focus here, here's the stop pin, put the stop pin back where it goes right here, it's what stops the blade when it opens and shuts, you see right here when it's open, that's where it stops, and when it's shut, Right here's where it stops. Put it in its spot. Get in your hole. It's your home. Well, okay, where you at? I'm putting this knife together upside down, by the way. <laughs> Get in there. All right, I'm struggling. Trying to talk and do something else at the same time. Are you going to get where in there where you go? There we go. There we go. Success. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. But... I even lost my train of thought. Not that that's the first time that's ever happened. Let me show you the bearing up close. Oh, the bearings that I'm gonna that I have ordered. Oh, and let's check real quick and see if these are steel or ceramic ball bearings. Are they which? Oh, these are ceramic ball bearings. How about that? How's that for fanciness? No wonder it was so smooth. Love me some ceramic ball bearings. Oh, and you know what? So since I'm getting all ahead of myself, here's the detent hole right there, and I'm gonna put a drop of KPL Heavy in the detent hole, a little bit thicker. Put a little drop ski in there, and I gotta be careful not, to, I always put too much, not always, but it's easy for me to push on the bottle too hard, and there's your detent track, and there we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy around. <laughs> I am just too wound up. Two wound up. All right, here we go. There's your bearing. I'm going to put a couple drops of regular. And you don't need that much, but, 
you know, I'm kind of rushing for time. I know some folks are rushed. They don't want to watch this too long. They just want to see what happens when you take it apart, put it back together. So in the interest of time, I'll try to uh, make it quick. All right, so look at that. Everything's coming back together like it's supposed to. I'm going to open it up. Everything is fit and trim and make sure <laughs> make sure I have it on camera. But yeah, this, this video is going to come to an end here shortly. So I just want to make sure I remind you guys to come to the live because that is the fun stuff. I'm telling you what, that is the fun stuff. So I'm gonna, uh, where are we at here? And by the way, these bit drivers, they are so awesome. So I'm just putting that in there to get it started. And now I'm gonna put these in here. And I have two. These are 20 bucks, by the way. These are only $20. They are sweet. But that stubby one that you saw me use a minute ago. Now this, I'm not, I'm not screwing these all the way in. I've just got them until I start to feel some pressure. I don't tighten them until the end because I want to make sure I get the blade centered first. Let's get that in there just until I feel something. Okay. Now I'm going to tighten down the pivot all the way. Let's see if it's going to spin on me. No, it's not. So just having my finger over here is enough. So the, I probably didn't even need to the first time I was just doing it from the wrong side. So let me see. Are we centered? Almost very close. Let's tighten this down a little bit more and we'll get centered. Are we centered? Pretty darn close. You know what? Um, it's close enough, but I'm going to tell you real quick. It wants to go to this side to the left. So I'm just going to loosen it up, loosen it up, loosen these two guys. And, you know, if you've already seen my videos, you already know, I'm going to push that direction while I'm tightening it. And that usually fixes the problem. I'm going to tighten it all the way down. And then I'm going to tighten these guys. And I'm just barely tightening them, just a couple fingers. There we go. And how are we looking here? We are centered. We are good to go. Back to the big screen. All right, so there you have it. What are my thoughts on it? This thing is freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. Now, as far as detent, no blade this big is going to snap out just barely touching it, but it's holding it in, no problem. So I had to really give it a lot to get it to come out of there. I like this knife. This thing is sweet. Good ergonomics. I mean, it's it does, does what it's supposed to. You could choke up on it. I don't have any complaints. For less than 30 bucks, are you freaking kidding me? This thing is awesome. I can't wait to carry this. And someone says, hey, anybody got a knife? And I'd be like, sure, got you right here. So tell me what you think. I mean, you don't have to like the knife. Make sure you comment. That's how you support B's Blades. Comment, tell me what you think about it. Or tell me what you had for breakfast. You know, you know what I'm saying. So remember to live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy and don't cut yourself.